Hi everybody, today I will tell you how to set a password on your external SSD drive. This is done so that only you and no one else has access to the files on such a drive. Also, no one will be able to delete or restore files without knowing the password because your data will be protected by secure blocking. So, as an example, I will set a password on an external 250 GB HP SSD. I open the Explorer, then this PC. I take an external box with an SSD drive and connect it to the USB port of the computer. After which we see my external SSD, it is displayed in the Explorer under the letter E. If you go to this drive, you can see that I have various folders with files and programs on it. Let's say I do not want someone to have access to these files and see what is stored inside my drive without my knowledge. For this I will now set a password on it. I right-click on the drive, select Show More Parameters, and click Enable BitLocker. In this window, I check the box Use a Password to unlock the drive. Here you need to enter the password for your external SSD on the drive. Enter the password again. Next, in this window, I will create a backup file with a password in case I forget the password for logging in to the external SSD. To do this, I click Save File. I select the Save Path Desktop and click Save. After this, as you can see, the file with the backup recovery key appears on the desktop. How to use the backup recovery key you will see a little later. Next. In this window, if you select the first option, encrypt only the occupied space on the disk, then despite the fact that a password will be set on the SSD, such an SSD can be formatted and some people may try to recover files deleted from it. If you select the second option here just below, the entire disk will be encrypted without the possibility of recovering deleted files. The second method is more reliable, but the encryption process takes much longer than the first option, so in order not to make the video too long, I will choose the first option. Next. Next. In this window, I click Start the process. Disk encryption is complete, and I close this window. Now we see that an icon with a lock image has appeared above the SSD label. In order for encryption to take effect, you need to disconnect the external SSD drive and remove it from the computer. After that, we reconnect the SSD to the computer. Please note that there is a closed lock on the SSD disk icon. And now if you try to open the encrypted external SSD, nothing will work, since you will need to enter a password to log in. To open the disk, I double-click on the disk, and a small window immediately opens in the upper right corner of the desktop. We enter our password from the SSD in this field, and then click Unlock. Now you can enter this drive and work with it as usual. And we immediately see in the Explorer that the icon of the closed lock on the SSD drive has changed to the image of an open lock. Below you will learn what to do if you have forgotten the password to log into your SSD. To do this, I need to disconnect the external SSD again and remove it from the computer. I insert my external SSD into the computer, and we see that the external drive again has a lock icon. Now you will learn how to unlock external SSD if you forgot the password. To do this, I open the created text file on the desktop with the recovery key. I select it and copy it by pressing the right mouse button. Then close the text file and double click on the lock drive. A small window has opened in the upper right corner of the desktop, and this time I will enter the recovery key in this window. In the window that opens, click here, then click here, and press two keys on the keyboard. Control plus V at the same time. 
after which the previously copied recovery key is automatically inserted into this field. Click Unlock. And as you can see in the Explorer, now on my SSD, for which the unlock password was forgotten, the icon of a closed lock has changed to an icon of an open lock. And finally, how to disable BitLocker and return the SSD drive to its original state. To do this, right-click on this SSD and click BitLocker Management. In the window that opens, you can clearly see which connected drives are password protected and which are not. Namely, Drive C and Drive D are in their normal state, that is, BitLocker is disabled on them. But on my external SSD, BitLocker is enabled. This is indicated here by this inscription and the image of the lock. There are additional useful functions in the password protected SSD menu. Namely, you can archive the recovery key here. That is, save the password in any of these ways. Change the password on this SSD. Delete the password. Enable automatic unlocking so that the lock is always open when connected to the SSD. And disable the set password completely, that is, disable BitLocker. I click, disable BitLocker, and click again, disable. After which decryption on the drive immediately begins. After decryption is complete, I close this window and exit the disk encryption window. And now we see that the external SSD has become a standard icon without a lock icon. That is, the lock on this disk is completely disabled. If you found this video useful and liked it, please support it with a like and a subscription to the channel. Have a nice day.